Hey, hey, and welcome to Mental Wealth Class. My name, of course, is Sanford. I am your mind, body, connection coach. Now, before we get started, please make sure that you share this video and smash that like button. I sure would appreciate it. Now, also, if you've been following me, or even if you're new, part of my mission is to free our youth. Free our youth from what, you may ask? Well, that's a great question. I'll give you a little statistics, some statistics. Only 50% of people are happy in their jobs. Number two, most adults commit suicide on a Monday between 4 a.m. and 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. before going to work. Number three, 800 million people around the world live in poverty. After more than 400 years of slavery, many countries are still not admitting that there's racism in their country. And our schools, of course, do not teach proper history in school so we can really know what's going on. Number five, over 12 million young girls are made to marry after being sold, traded, and stolen. They're not even adults yet. Number six, 67 million people around the world have poor health or no health care at all. Number seven, our Western society is struggling with their weight. 40 to 52% of Westerners are obese. And the last one I'm gonna talk about is one in five students are bullied. One in 10 adults at a professional job are bullied in the workplace. And that's not including the one in 3% of people that are of color who are racially discriminated against. So what do we need to free our youth from? Think about it. I feel that our society has stopped dreaming, stopped believing, and we're just playing small and safe, hoping that we can make a good living, get the material things that everybody else is fighting for and we're preparing for old age and retirement just like it's nothing like life is nothing one of the things i feel that we can teach our kids early and continue to teach them through school is the power and purpose of friendships if you if you hear any of these little phrases in in your friend circle then you need to take stock and think about your friendships a little closer one, let's just see where it goes. Ooh, why do we have to give it a name? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Most people have no real meaning or a purpose in their friendships. You know, it's like they don't want to live deeper or think deeper or they, may, or they feel that they may ruin the relationship if they decide to give it some sort of name, okay? But, you know, it's... It's mostly going to help you develop a stronger friendship if you know where you're going. Friendships are like life. They're infinite to the universe and time. But for us, we're finite. We're going to die. So why are you, why are we spending time with people who are always, say, negative or, or rarely support our growth, our dreams, our ideas? They only comfort us when we fail to lose. And they don't challenge us to be better, stronger, or happier. Friends are the main reason we become who we are. If we're hanging around people who are just settling for less, then we will settle for less. Now, don't get me wrong. If people are happy where they are, that's great. The real question is, are you happy where you are? What you are doing, or are you simply following your friends? Now, it's okay to have a strong, declared purpose for your friendship. It's not deceitful or, de or deception to have friendships with a clear purpose in mind. It lets everyone know what the relationship is. It's let everyone know where they stand. It let, it's let everyone know, I am looking for that open, honest, and committed growth with these people that are in my life. So here are my four top purposes for either hanging out are getting rid of some of the friends in your circle. Friends are for networking. Friends are for challenging and supporting. Friends are for fun, laughter, and silliness. Friends are to help us think. Now let's dive into this network, okay, number one. Without friends, we cannot possibly achieve our fullest potential in life. If you look, say, at a wolf pack, at an ant colony, or a lion's 
okay? Each of them have their unique gifts to keep the group focused, safe, and, and getting what they need and they want. This, of course, helps the whole pack or the colony or the pride get better. Even our greatest inspirational innovators did networking with their friends. Michael Jordan, of course, had the Bulls. They won the championship seven times. Martin Luther King did Selma, and he had the I Have a Dream march on Washington, where over 250,000 people attended. And for that march, he had a team of friends. Philip Rudolph, Stanley Levinson, Clarence Jones, and of course, his wife, Coretta Scott King, just to name a few. Now, of course, you can look up these names. Even Jesus had 12 apostles, okay? The next one I'm going to talk about is challenging and supporting friends. Anything that we do, okay, we check with someone, usually our friends that we trust, followed by our families. I mean, you know, we don't have a turtle to stop a hard, a turtle shell to stop a hard blow. We don't have wings to naturally fly away. Or we don't, you know, we are far from the biggest or the strongest animals on the planet. So we need our friends to look out for us, remind us of our gifts, and to push us to get stronger and smarter. Friends support us and challenge us. You know, it, it seems that these friends, even when we don't want them there, show up. These friends are the ones who you know that will tell you the truth, that will pick you up, that will hold you and accept those times <laughs> that we all need when we're crazy, when we're in that crazy stage, okay? The fun, the fun friend, okay? We get focused on work and school and life so much. We need someone to remind us to loosen up, to, to put our hands up in the air and wave them around like we just don't care. <laughs> you know, now these friends, of course, are serious about their jobs, their careers, and their families, yet they're able to create fun because that's a part of who they are. It's that welcome release of sharing our fantasies, dancing in the middle of the street with this person, playing on the swing set. <laughs> You know, are just simply sitting there watching people, you know, sitting in that joy and that peace with their company, sharing our deep feelings and our thinking that we have about a situation or a problem, you know, that we perhaps keep thinking about over and over and over again. We're also trying to avoid thinking about, you know, sometimes we need that friend to keep it clear for us, to help us develop more clarity. You know, we have those wise friends as well that help to bring that, that, that wisdom and that insight to us. They, get, they help us to look at things from a whole different perspective. Now, this friend is not always wanted when they start to make us think a little bit different, but we know who they are. We know that they have our best interest in heart, at heart. Listen, now, that, these friends don't have all these traits, you know, the networking, the challenging, supporting, the fun and the, and the thinking. It's knowing that in your circle you have these people, clearly defined friends, these friends who are there for you, who help to inspire you, who help you to think and to feel. You know where you stand with these people and they mean so much to you. One of the downsides though about getting more precise about your friendships is you will discover Spend, that you're spending time with people because perhaps they're safe since they don't tell you the truth, since they don't challenge you, since they don't give you a different perspective, since they simply gossip and complain and are willing to, you know, be with you for many years without ever growing. These are surface friendships and you're just more than likely hanging around them just because they were there and vice versa. They're hanging around just because you're there and they're just waiting for someone better to come along. They don't support you. They don't lift you up. They think your dreams are silly or they try to up you, one-up you, by telling you about their dreams and how much better they are. So there is that, that perspective, that, that insight that we need to do when we're really thinking deeply about our friends. These friends are, are, are I think I mentioned it earlier, are like wallpaper. They came with the house. It's up to you what you want to do. However, having friends in your life on a purposeful basis Give your life and their life clarity, honesty, and purpose. <laughs> well, that's it for me for today. Thanks for popping in. Can you make sure that you share this video and smash that like button? You can always follow me on Instagram, Facebook, 
And of course, you reach me at Sanford at IntrepidTwentyFirstCentury.com. Make sure that you share your gifts, earn your peace, and to always, always love your mission. Peace. <laughs>